What is up, Aries? Welcome to your general timeless reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name is Jordan. I do a lot of things in regards to spirituality. If you want more information, check out my website it's down below in the description box. And if you want a free 10 minute reading, check out my Patreon channel. But let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for you guys. This is general. It's timeless. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Aries. Show me what I most need to see for Aries. They neatly showed me dragons. Uh, drag. I have a dragon oracle deck over there. Dragons to me speak a lot to spirituality and internal healing, which yes, can reflect in your external life. But if you're going through a lot of changes within yourself right now, there's some validation for you. Okay, meanwhile, we have the tower, okay? The lovers in reverse and the five of pentacles. Okay, this one wants to stay. Yeah, six of cups. Okay, I'll take you too. Strength in reverse. Well, that was the quick spread for you. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. I love it. Jupiter energy, expansive energy. With the lovers in reverse, we have Gemini energy. The tower is Aries, Mars, Scorpio. We have Taurus with the five of pentacles. We have uh, the sun, uh, Scorpio energy with the six of cups, and Leo with the strength. So you have three, four majors out and two minors. Major Arcana represents uh, energies outside of your control and minor Arcana are day-to-day -day experiences. So with the lovers in reverse and the tower in reverse, this is a foundation or decision because the lovers represents decisions, choices, um, a choice that had to be made, a relationship or companionship that had to end, it had to fall down or the form it took had to come down, okay? It was a lot of fear, limiting beliefs, scarcity mindset rooted in that. Could be a fear of abandonment. And so as we start to overcome this fear of abandonment, the relationship starts to become more stable again, realizing, okay, this is why we connected. This is the purpose of this relationship. I need to tame this part of my ego. And when I say tame the ego, because we have the feminine energy taming the inner beast, which would be the fears, limiting beliefs, anxieties, attachments, addictions, okay? And when we tame that part of ourself or we start to understand our ego, that is when it's going to reflect in our relationships as well around us. So you're recognizing things you might have learned in childhood or things that this relationship taught you and things that you have to heal inside of yourself because you see these things now. And that's where the change is going to happen. Yeah. And then with the Hierophant in reverse, it's definitely the end of a contract. So we'll see we'll see how this plays out let's look at marchetti tarot right so this is tarot of dreams i'm using marchetti tarot all the tarot decks i use are listed down below in the description box i had to bend it the other way now show me what i most need to see for aries what do i most need to see for aries Let's start with the wheel. The wheel, please, for Aries. Okay. So we have the Page of Cups and we have the Seven of Cups. You're starting to understand the parts of you that you want to share, the parts of you that need to open up to be vulnerable. Okay, and this is where the change is gonna happen. You're gonna go through this um, realization of I need to speak and share this. So this could be a conversation. This could be realizing like, oh, I need to open up about X, Y, Z, because that's what stood in the way of this relationship. Let's look at the lovers now. Why is the lovers here? Some oh, of the lovers for Aries. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, so there's a lack of commitment going on here. There is hesitance about this relationship. And the Five of Cups, yeah, it's rooted in a lot of old pain. And the Magician, yeah. So somebody didn't feel confident in themselves to really commit to this the way that they wanted to commit or the way that they felt they should commit, okay? Um, and with the High Priestess and the Five of Cups here, this tells me that what was hidden from them was the very things that they had to mourn within themselves. Not necessarily relationship, but within themselves. And it was being mirrored in this relationship or they were being triggered by this relationship to address these things. So if you had a very up and down interaction with this individual, it's because they were finding all of your triggers and wanting to poke at them. <laughs> Let's look at the tower. That was their job because it's going to help you heal. 
Let's look at the tower. Why is the tower here? So we have the King of Cups, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. There's so much love in this relationship, but there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of burden. There's a lot of heaviness behind it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be behind the relationship. This could be somebody fearing caring so much for another. Caring so much for another and not knowing what kind of changes to make or what needs to change or what needs to end, what needs to come down. And so in turn, they have a runner mentality. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of resistance to allowing this old way of being in relationships end though, because that's what the lovers followed by the tower means. Let's look at the five of pentacles here. That's for forgiveness. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is very gentle. Yeah, two of swords. They have an open heart space. They're not shutting you in, shutting you out. They don't want to abandon you or reject you. They very much so want this. They do. I feel this other person coming in now. Yeah, Emperor. There they are. Yeah, I like this. They're very confident. Emperor is the father in tarot. It's very, it's Aries energy as well. It's also Taurus for me as a reader, but it's this energy of... I want to provide. I want a stable foundation. I want to take care of things and I want to see them thrive and last for the test of time. It is long-term commitments with the emperor. The emperor builds very stable foundations and units. And so they're very open to this. They don't, they're not the type to want to be like, okay, F this, I'm out. They're very committed. This is a very committed energy. Yeah, Knight of Swords. And so here's the other person. They're like, oh, commitment, love, stability. How do I deal with that, right? Like, how do I handle that energy? Because I'm not accustomed to it. I want to run from it because it's different. But just because it feels different doesn't mean that it's bad. And it's need to recognize that. Like, oh, this was a stable relationship. But my fear of the different energy I felt with it made me want to run because I wasn't accustomed to it. So I didn't recognize it. Let's look at the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Three of Wands, you've been waiting for a connection like this for a long time though. Is it gonna take work at times? Yeah, but that work is just to help you heal. And it's not moving forward right now because the old contract, the old way of being needs to be broken. It's And that's kind of what you're waiting on. Like, okay, well, I want this and they want this, but I need to heal and release things within myself, very much so. And so Justice in Reverse and the Eight of Wands in Reverse, if you keep hitting a wall and hitting a wall and hitting the wall the way that you're doing things, it's most likely because you need to balance your masculine and your feminine energy. Learn to be receptive, to observe and say, you know what, maybe I don't know what to do right now and that's okay. Maybe I should just observe and allow things to flow to me. And at first that might be really hard and really scary and really uncomfortable but it's gonna get easier because the reason why it's hard and uncomfortable is because you might have a tendency of sitting in a lot of night energy, which is very scattered energy, an energy that always wants to do something, or a king energy, which is a builder, builder, leader, go, they do things. Whereas feminine is observant, it's present. It doesn't worry about the past or the future, it's here now and it knows that everything's coming to it when it most needs it, right? Let's look at strength. And we all have masculine and feminine energy within us, okay? Thinking that just because you're naturally masculine means that it's harder for you to embody feminine is a limiting belief. It's not harder. It's not harder. Just like you're naturally a righty, you can still learn to be a lefty. You can still learn. It's just going to take practice. Hard is a way of thinking. It's a belief. Ace of Wands in reverse and Strength in reverse. Yeah, so the need to address these fears, these attachments in your ego, the lack of confidence or strength you have to overcome these obstacles is what's standing in the way of your new beginning. Because you want the new beginning. You need to do the work because your soul is quite literally saying like, hey, I want you to go here. This is what's meant for you. And you're denying it because of this runner mentality or this fear that this person doesn't want you when they do want you. They very much so do. Underneath judgment is the nine of wands. Yeah. So the nine of wands in reverse is someone who's like, I give up. But in all reality, what you really want to do is rebuild this foundation with this person. There's just some fear of what if they don't want it with me? They do. They do. They're very committed. 
Okay, Aries, that's what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session or you want to become certified in Reiki, go ahead, check out my website down below. If you want a free 10 minute reading, check out Patreon and like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow and I'd greatly appreciate it. I love you. I wish you the best. I'll see you next time.